Hello, I'm Kate and this is a charity shop try on haul. So I've got some really nice dresses to show you. They're all dresses actually, all of them dresses and I will try them on as well to show you what they look like. So I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone. Good morning if you're watching it in the morning and um, yeah, another charity shop haul. I've got one more left after this before I'm all out of my charity shop bargains. So I'll try to um, split them into little groups. So I've got another one left, which I'll save and put on here in a couple of days time. So before I get into the haul, I want to do my mug of the day. And I haven't shown this one before, actually. This was from a charity shop a while ago. Obviously, it was all a while ago. And I bought this for 20p. It was in Stalham and all the mugs are 20p. It's a Disney one and it's really beautiful. I shouldn't have really bought it because it's oh, I've got lipstick all over. Hang on, let me just clear the lipstick. Oh, and some tea. Hang on, because it's for someone with um a B in their name. Or oh, it says B is for Bambi, so it doesn't matter that I'm. It's not a K, does it? Or would you have left that there? But it was twenty p for this beautiful Bambi Disney mug, and I just felt it needed to come home with me, and it matches my hairband on the inside. So would you have? I had to get it. I had to get it, didn't I? Because look at the other side. B is for Bambi, not just, you don't have, doesn't say this mug is for you if you have a B in your name, does it? No. And there's a lovely picture of Bambi on the back with a little butterfly on her tail. How cute is that for 20p? It's a proper Disney one. So this is my mug off for the day. And I've got a Barocca, you know, a vitamin C drink thing, effervescent vitamin C. Let me just have a little bit of this and then I'll, I'll show you all of my charity shop bargains. That's quite a sharp Barocca. It's actual real Barocca because I couldn't get the um, the fake version of Barocca, so I had to pay out for the more expensive one. But it's actually really nice. It's a bit sharp though, but I'm sure it's doing me good. So before I get into it, before I show the haul, um, I just want to quickly tell you about my top, which you might have seen in a charity shop haul from the other day. And it was £2.50, it's from Topshop originally, and it says peachy. And I'm wearing this with a denim skirt, but you can't really see it. So I quickly filmed a little bit of footage so you could see what this top looks like with a denim skirt, because obviously I'm sitting down here and it's a bit of an awkward space. And I wanted to kind of show you the look that I was going for. So here it is. This skirt was from, I think that was a car boot sale a while ago, and it's got pockets, which I love. And I just think it looks really nice, really flattering. I tried it on with a longer skirt and it didn't look quite so good, but I think really nice, a little bright top with a slogan on and a little denim skirt is, you know, perfect. And I can wear this in the garden and still feel quite comfortable. I've got my Anthropology hairband on again today. I actually love this one. I wasn't sure at first. I love it though. I think it's really nice. I love the colours and the, the um, plait, that's the word. There's a plait in it. But well, I'm not going to edit this now for the rest of the... Oh, no, I have to edit because it's a try on one. But I'll try and carry on for as long as I can without editing. Right, so the first thing I'm going to show you after showing you this stuff and what it looks like on is a lovely bag. And I know I've got quite a few bags, but I bought this a while ago and I just thought it looks lovely. So it's from East Coast Hospice. It was £3 and the maker's David Jones. I've not heard of that, but you may have heard of that before. It's in brilliant condition and I love this colour. It's kind of like a mustard yellow. I don't know why this arm just went mustard yellow. It's because I love it very much. And it's got a little tassel here. Hello. And then you open it up and it's got a few compartments. So the first one is there. It looks brand new actually. I don't know if that's been used, but it's in perfect condition. There's a nice big compartment with a few pockets inside here and the in inner bit's nice, the material. And then you've got this huge one that folds over, a nice big flap there, <laughs> love a big flap um, inside there. So you've got a nice big space if you wanted a big space, but obviously you've got to fold it over. But I suppose if you had something tall, it wouldn't matter. You could house it in your bag because it's a tall one. And then at the back, um, it's just got another little pocket. So lots of pockets in this bag. It's a really good one. It's also across the body type of bag. Oh, and I love these bags. Not that I'm using any at the moment, but I will do eventually. So I just, oh, I've got myself around the neck. I just thought I had to have this. And because it's, I think it's pretty much brand new. I thought, yep, yeah, that's coming home with me. And that was three pounds. So I think that's a really good deal. And the last kind of brick a bracky bit before I show you the clothes and the try on is this little set. And it's N-Spa, I think. Yeah, N-Spa 
real fruit goodies um, created in the UK by spa experts. That was £1.50 and it's from Asda originally and there is, what else there, some shower and bath gel, some fragrance body mist, some body butter and a body poof. What are they called? A buffet? No, they're not. That's what you put your feet on. It's a, um, you know, what are they called? A squeegee. That's not what they're called. What is it? A loofah. A loofah. That's not, is it? Why isn't it written even on here? What are you called? A buffer. A buffer. It's a buffer. So yes, that was £1.50. I can't remember where that was from, but it was from somewhere from the charity shop. Right, on to the clothes. Yay. So the first thing I'm going to show you, you have seen before, if you watch my Come Dine With Me video, I think it was the first one, is this gorgeous dress that I got from Bernardo's and it was reduced to a pound. I've still got the tagging because I wanted to save it for the haul. Oh no, it's 99p. It was even cheaper. It's a size 12. It was 99p. I love this. And yeah, you'll have seen it in Come Dine With Me. The make is, it's Matalan, but guest list papaya and I will now try it on again just in case you didn't watch the come down with me video and you can see what it looks like it fits really nicely I absolutely love this dress I'm looking forward to wearing this out somewhere when life gets back to normal but I love the fit I love how the sleeves are and I think it's really flattering it doesn't have pockets but it's um it's definitely one of my favorite dresses Love it very much. I think the pattern is so nice. I love the leopard print. And the next thing I'm going to show you is this lovely dress. I think it's a Tesco, yeah. F and F dress. It's brand new. It's got a little tag there, so I don't think it's ever been worn. Size 12, and it was four pounds. And that was Bernardo's again. I love the pattern. I love the print, and it's got really nice detail going down the front and the side there as well. If you can see that, I'll just show you. You can see it there. So really nice detail and it's got a zip up the back. It's really sheer so I'll have to wear something underneath this. However, I did try it on and it was a little bit tight on the tummy so I can't wear this immediately so I'll have to do some more Joe Wicks workouts. Um, so yeah, but it's a really nice dress but just a tiny bit tight on the tummy for some reason. I thought it was going to fit really well. It does everywhere else but just here it's a little bit tight which is a bit annoying but you know, hopefully I can get into it and if not I will redonate it or donate it when um, the charity shops open up again and life goes back to normal or a new kind of normal this next dress I love I really love it I've already filmed the try on bits already so I'm just adding them in and it didn't disappoint it's just the cutest little dress so the make is red herring there you go and it's lined it's so pretty and it was five pounds from east coast hospice and it's got a little belt that goes around the middle it's got the most adorable print and then it kind of changes at the bottom so the last bit has got a different pattern I don't normally like it when they change but this one I do because it's got the belt that is in the same material as the bottom and I absolutely love this dress it feels really nice and I think it's flattering it's got a nice neckline that's not too low and it's got quite wide straps here so it's quite flattering the print is just so cute and it's a nice length as well and it's lined I just think it's the cutest little prettiest dress and I need to go to a tea party in my garden wearing it for the teapot it's so cute I really love it so I'm very happy that I found this I've got one exactly the same actually in my wardrobe the same make the same dress but it's a green um, I'll see if I can find it this is the exact same dress, but obviously in a different colour. And this was also from a charity shop a couple of years ago. And I've worn this loads. And this is the same one, but obviously in a different print. Yay, the kind of beautiful sort of like dress twin sisters. Same but different. And one of the buttons popped off. So I think my mum added that last year, a little button. And actually this one keeps on doing here. So I might need to add buttons to this one. Yeah, same dress. Aren't they cute though? Yay! This one is quite a plain dress and I've got kind of some similar, but I haven't got one exactly like this. So I thought I should get it because it might be quite nice on. Again, it's a kind of fit and flare, so it goes in at the waist and flares out. This one is fine on the tummy. This fits nicely, which you'll see in just a second. 
It's from Asda originally, so from George, and it was Sue Ryder. No, Age UK. Look at the blue. Age UK, and that was one pound ninety nine from Age UK. And it's got a really nice, simple zip that goes down the back. It's really soft, and I really like this one on as well. It's really nice and fitted without being too tight. So there's some stretch in it and it just, yeah, it feels really nice. And it's kind of smart and casual. So I could wear this during the day or I could wear it in the evening. And I love the fact it's quite long sleeved. You know how some things stop a bit short. It's really nice and long and fitted. And I love the, um, I love the print. I think this is great. And I love the length as well. It's a really good length, just kind of sits on my knee, sitting on my knee or slightly above, but yeah, this is perfect. Love this. Hey. And this last one I'm going to show you, I wasn't too sure about. So when I saw it, I thought, mm, I'm not sure. And then I thought, well, I'll just get it anyway, because it was in the sale. It was from Break Charity Shop and it was only £2, so reduced from £4. The make is Yumi or Yummy. Yumi. I don't know, whatever one, whatever one you want to say. And I really like, I've got some of these dresses, this Yumi Yummy make, and I really like them. So I thought, well, it might fit really nicely. So obviously it's navy blue or kind of a bright navy blue with white flowers, but it's really stretchy and it's quite long. But then I thought this is a great one to just chuck on this kind of material when it's stretchy and it's kind of heavy as well, but they're just great to chuck on. You know that they're not going to like blow up in the wind. So I thought I would get it, take a chance and see, because it might look really nice on. And this one is really comfortable as well. It's sort of stretchy material and uh, yeah, it fits nicely. I like the cap sleeves. It fits nicely everywhere. It's got belt, oh, belt, belt. It's got belt loops. So I could put a little belt around. Oh, there's some more here. I don't like a belt for some reason, but you could put a belt here. I can snip them off if I wanted to. But yeah, I like this. Um, I like this dress, very comfortable. It's a good length and it's nice and stretchy. And I can do this. Not that I'll do with this, but if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> I changed my hairband over as well because the pink didn't go with this dress. So I've just chucked a black hairband on to go a bit better. And that is everything I've got to show you in this try on charity shop haul. So I hope you enjoyed it and like seeing what the dresses look like. If I had to choose one, it's going to be the red herring ditzy print flowery dress, this one. I just, I mean, I love them all, but this one. Oh, come here, you. Oh, I love the leopard print one at the beginning, but this one is just adorable. I love this so much. It's like perfect holiday dress and little summer dress that I can wear in the garden. I love that. And the fact that I've got you know, the other one that's matching. And I love that one as well. I've worn that loads and they're lined so they feel really comfortable on. I just need to, these buttons are a little bit loose. So maybe I need to just get some better buttons, better buttons and um, put some round ones on there maybe. I'm not sure because they're not that secure, but I love this so much. I love you all. Right, so yeah, let me know your favorite item in the comments or it could be the bag. Where did the bag go? I don't know, at the beginning. Oh, it's at the back of the bed the bag and the little end spa set as well so yeah let me know your favorite item in the comments and I will speak to you soon I've got lots more videos on the way gonna still be doing them every morning at 8 a.m so I've got vlogs and hauls and all kinds of different things and one more charity shop haul left so I'm gonna film that in a minute actually and get that ready for you and that'll probably go on I don't know in a few days so just some bits and bobs in that haul so yeah thanks for watching if you did enjoy the video give it a like make sure you subscribe and come over to instagram as well i'm kate mccabe and my house account is kate's homely home and they'll be both linked in the description along with some other videos the come dine video and the charity shop video where i i showed you this last time and some other ones uh, that i've done recently gonna drink the rest of my bambi mug effervescent vitamin C Barocca and I will speak to you tomorrow morning at eight. Thanks for watching. Speak to you in the morning. Bye.